Yo, what's good with y'all, man? Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notice today for round two. When wanna be gangsters get checked by thugs. Oh, you thugs. <laughs> There's a lot of people that wanna be thugs out here in this world, bro. And they're not that. It'd be like, I know some of y'all can relate. People y'all don't went to school with, we know they wasn't like that. They know they didn't claim this, know they didn't claim that. But when they get a gun or whatever, they get hang around certain people, they just think they him. It's crazy how, how that don't work. And, and but you know the real them. You know the real them. But people on social media or whatever don't know them for real. It just man, let's get right into this video, man. A lot of gangsters think they're entitled and tougher than everyone. But here's what happens when wanna be gangsters mess with people and realize they're not tough. Starting with this older man who tried checking a dude younger than him since he thought the younger dude wasn't about that life. The older man gets all up in the younger dude's face and seconds oh. later, the younger dude throws one his way to let him know he's the wrong one to mess with since the older man was trying to pick on him. <laughs> Why are uh, rubbing his chair like this? <laughs> nah, damn, uh. See, man, trying to be a bully, got that shit bully. Let him know he's the wrong one to mess with since the older man was trying to pick on him. Bro, look how he. <laughs> damn. But that ain't the only time an old dude tried picking on <laughs> the younger and it went wrong. Because oh. the old head was trying to let everyone know that he's a killer and a real street dude. Why he got all that red on? Like. <laughs> Wait, who you talking to? Dude in dreads? Hey, it seems like he was trying to scare the dude in the white hoodie, but he wasn't really phased by him. So seconds later, he snatches up the dude and tells him that he's going to walk him out of the building. Right in the devil, as soon as he touched me, that look, hey, that look cup in my hand, hold on. That look, that look cup in my hand, I would have dropped that, turn around, boom! Oh my God, I would have hit it with a mean, oh my. It is my dominant hand, I would have hit it with a mean right. A mean, right, a heavy one, heavy ass haymaker. Like, who is you touching like that? You know what I'm saying? We grown ass man, bro. Show me some respect. I'm gonna walk out, bro. I'm gonna turn around right here. Bop. And it doesn't seem like that was a good idea because this happens next. See? After getting smacked up. <laughs> hey, hey, I would have did that shit quicker though, but he did exactly what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> Like he about to cry. The old dude who was putting on a tough act, the whole mood changed. And he like wasn't he trying to, to do cry. anything else after what just happened. Hey, shit like this though, shit like that scared me though. Like, like say I'm like one of these people back here. Like, stuff like that scared me. I'll be ready to hide somewhere because I don't know who got a gun. I don't know who finna shoot up a place. So I'm ready to hide. I'm ready to go. Heart start racing. Now, let's move on to a man who tried picking on a store clerk because yeah. he thought the clerk wasn't about that life. Because the man gets very disrespectful and punches the window trying to scare the clerk. What, what did I do? I know that hand hurting. I know that hand hurting. Get out of here, boy. Seconds later, the clerk comes from behind the counter and oh. smacks the wannabe gangster across his head since he was being disrespectful and teaches him a lesson. I be forgetting they be owning these stores too, so they, they you know what I'm saying, protecting this shit. You know what I'm saying. Sometimes <laughs> you, be careful, you can't call everyone out of their name, and this next Whoa! person. That shit sound like a baseball bat hit hit a baseball. <laughs> Damn. Learn this the hard way because the person in the pink shirt tries acting tough and calls the man in the red oh, a a word since other people were watching. It's a dike. He then warns her not to call him a B anymore, but she tries putting on a tough act and mm. calls him a B once again. And from there, he went off. <laughs> After getting dropped, she then gets up and acts confused, and the dude lets her know. <laughs> he not to ass straight. <laughs> hey, she must have forgot what act she was trying. Like I don't know what she thought this was, but he not to ass straight. But 
A dyke and I. That he's not playing and will drop her again if she calls him a B again. And it seems like the girl was high off something, which is part of the reason yeah. she tried acting so tough. Yeah. The same goes for this next person, because this one drunk got taught a lesson oh, after throwing oh. a beer at someone's car. The drunk guy starts talking trash to the man in the silver car, like he's big and bad. And his homie yeah. tells him to hit the car with the beer can, so he does it. <laughs> what? Yeah, can I have a lift on the heath or not? What are you saying? Yeah, yeah, you up your mother's pooch, yeah? I'll give you your <laughs> smashes to your mother's gun. How about that? About your mother's yeah, yeah, yeah. You mad? Your mother's pooch. Your mother's pooch, yeah? What that mean? Damn. That's when the man oh, hops yeah. out of his car, oh, he yeah. runs up on the drunk dude, and gets <gasps> his right for being disrespectful. Oh, yeah. He deserved everything. The drunk Wait. man then runs into the store since he already knows that he messed around with the wrong person. But next up, we got a YouTube prankster. <laughs> hey, hey, he ran to his mother pooch. <laughs> who tried acting tough with Boosie since he knew that it would go viral. But things didn't go as planned for the prankster. The prankster pulls up on Boosie and his crew and tells Boosie to hand him something off the shelf in a racist way. Boy, I said hand it to me now. Boy, Boy. 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 I'm the real bad parent in the lab, boy. Boosie was confused at first since he couldn't believe what was going on. And his crew tried telling the prankster to chill out since they would really do something to him. Seconds later, one of the dudes with Boosie swings at the prankster since he was going too far. See? Man, I will beat your Wait. The prankster then calls the cops on Boosie and his people and tried. See, like, yeah, like. Of course he's gonna call him police cause like, boy, he you're not supposed to touch him. I words? He didn't hit you, he didn't do nothing to you, bro. All he's just saying is words, you know what I'm saying? So of course he of course he gonna call the police. I mean the police on you and try to get you arrested cause you just hit the nigga, man. Some people just dumb, bro. Getting them arrested since they hit him. And that's why pranksters need to chill. They get arrested twice though before playing with someone. I wonder did they get arrested? Well, the person that punched them. In this next clip, this wannabe gangster was probably inside not, Walmart, not. going off on everyone <clears throat> since they were taking too long to cash his check. Because out of nowhere, the dude started cursing and screaming at everyone in the store. Introduction to you. I am Cedric and Missy South Ed. Stop. Hurry the up! I'm leaving now. Hey, of course this is well, sir. You. Idiot. What? I'm the prince of the Congo, you idiot! Seconds this later, Walmart? the man standing in the line <laughs> told the wannabe gangster to calm down with all the cursing since there were kids inside of the store. But the wannabe gangster wasn't hearing it and got all in the dude's face trying to fight him. You idiot! I got what kids. are you gonna do, you I got kids, bro! Nothing! Black I got kids right there, boy! Nothing. Boy! Save him, boy! That's when another man tried telling the wannabe gangster to calm down as well. And he did the same exact thing to him too. But it didn't turn out well since he instantly noticed he had messed with the wrong person. And his whole... <laughs> he let his zesty say <laughs> But it didn't turn out well since he instantly noticed he had messed with the wrong person. And his whole mood changed. I see no white devils in your eyes, boy. Press charges right there. But if you thought that was bad, this next dude. He ain't do nothing after that? What? Bro, come on now. Threw a cigarette at someone since he felt tough and instantly regretted it. He tries Damn. apologizing to the dude he threw the cigarette at, but the man tells him it's too late since he already threw it and it burns him a little. But it's too late because you threw it at me and then try to go back. It's not like you threw it at me and then you try to pick it up immediately. You try to go in the building. 
Yo, son, that's not so the man then lets him know he has one coming his way and that it was too late for all of the apologizing since he already threw it at him. So then he did this. Of course, this. I'm about to punch him so hard in your face, you, and I'm telling you it's coming. You know why? Because you threw it at me. If you would just hand it to me, then why? But no, you had to throw it to me. And throw it at me. After that, he could barely walk and looked embarrassed. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's sleep. And you should always think twice before acting tough online because you never know when someone might catch you in public and confront you about it. In this next clip, this wannabe gangster instantly folds when caught in person. The man uploaded a video online claiming that he was shooting at people and that he was really about that life. I'm gonna blow on your man Luigi. I did that. I did that. Not once, but twice. I did But the that. dude he was talking about <laughs> ended up catching him at the casino and questioned him about the video. And that's when I want to be gangsta admitted that he never did that for real and was capping. You, you blew at me? Yo, Pesci, I never blew on Sebastian. And, and, and Luigi? I never blew on Luigi. Not once, not twice? No, not... I, 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 I blew her like on, uh, on you, blew, you blew on him? Who? Luigi? On, Lu on, Lu on Lu Did I blow on yeah, Luigi? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you blow on Luigi? Twice, right? Bash, I never said Bro. I blew on him twice. I never said, you I, never said I never said I blew on him twice. Oh, uh, you never, never blew on Never Luke. said that. All right. Say less. Never Say less. less. Something similar happened in this next. Whatever, I ain't gonna say Because a wannabe gangster was going around town falsely claiming a gang set until some dudes who were really about that life caught up with him and questioned him about the gang stuff. You're not soft two, three out the J's. You're not soft two, three out the J's. You're not soft out the J's. The fake gangsters tell the real ones that he doesn't gang bang, but they weren't hearing that Dang. and would smack him up a few times. You're not and he could have robbed him. No. Bro, I'm pretty sure they did rob him, but. They could have took everything he had. Like One day, this 19-year-old was flexing his gun in public, trying to act cool since he had just got the gun, for until real? an older man bucked him for the gun and taught him a lesson about gun safety. The older man walks up to the 19-year-old and asks him if he can hold the gun. Then he lets him know that he just got his strap. Why do you have your gun out in the first place? And why? It's... First of all, it's common sense. Why? First of all, why? Why can't somebody even see your gun? Why can't somebody even? know that you even have a gun on you, you know what I'm saying? That's that be the problem with these people like just cause you got a gun, bro, don't mean the other person don't have a gun. They uh, I'm just saying, but Stop taken and that he isn't getting that back. You can see it bro. I'm saying let me hold it though. Yeah bro it's about forty three bro. Yeah, you're not getting his back, bro. bro. What you mean? The older man tried telling him the reason he took the gun from him. But the 19-year-old let the old head know that he wasn't about to go out like that and was going to call his people up there to do something to him. Bro, we're not about to do For that. For real? Bro. I promise you I'm not, bro. You don't even know how to hold a gun properly. You got a gun, you putting it up in the air, chocolate. I got something. Respectfully, if you touch me again, bro, it's going to be an issue, bro. bro like, don't don't gun, touch bro. me, bro. You just took my gun, bro. It ain't about that, I'm not going to go out like no got to go gotta out This got to be like a skit. Like no Talk, though. I'm a little, I'm a little wiser and older than you. On, I don't care you don't how know how to, is, bro. You my shit, bro. Before I call my boys up here, bro. You can call whoever you want to call, bro. bro, my shit, bro. You got Look, this, this what I'm gonna do bro. though, right? That's when the older man takes the mag out of the gun and gives it to the 19 year old, since he doesn't want the 19 year old walking around acting tough and crazy with the gun. This what I'm gonna do. Nah, this gotta be a skit, cause no, no way, like you can't be this dumb. This gotta be a skit. I promise you. I'm gonna take the magazine out. And I'm gonna give you your gun. And who is this other dude right here? Listen, listen, listen to me, bro. I'm a little old. I'm gonna give you a gun, but I'm taking the magazine out. Let me say something. So, so that's what it's gonna be. Give me my, give my, yo, give my. Listen, this is what it's gonna be. Everything else, bro. Nah, I need everything, bro. I need everything, bro. I need everything, bro. Listen, promise you, you're not getting that. Hey, yo, I bet. Yo, bro, get this. Respectfully, you don't even know how to carry a gun, bro. And at least the older man was nah, chill this, about it. It didn't straight up embarrass him. This had to be a skit, bro. Because this next person, no way, price for spitting on someone. Ain't even look real. Come do something. I'll square you. Come, come here, come here. Come outside. Come outside. We'll wait for you. After they drop the dude, the man behind the <laughs> camera tells everyone that he messed around with the wrong one. What the hell? Son gang. That was quick as hell. That was one second. He just came out of there. Right. Fit on us, bro. On camera. And I slapped him with that. In this next clip, a guy on the train tries picking on a dude who is minding his business for no reason. So the man has to get him, right? Because the man in the brown stands up and tries checking the dude beside him out of nowhere. Yeah, he most definitely all something. 
That's when the man in the hat tells him to sit down a couple of times. But the man in the brown says, what you gonna do before he gets up? It checks him. First of all, they were, they were sitting way too close here. They were sitting shoulder to shoulder. Like, give, give, me, give me some room. I knew that was coming. And he set his ass now, down. Let's move on to this one guy who was going around snatching cigarettes from people. Since he says smoking is bad and everyone needs to stop it. Nah, that, that's this the worst prank you could do, boy. Smacking somebody's cigarette, boy. But this time, he tried it on someone, and the dude wasn't having it, and backhanded the dude for messing around. He Damn. then picks the guy's cig back up and tells him to chill out and don't do anything else. Well, you don't know what they going through, but they probably need that clip, cigarette. An Uber Eats driver tries breaking into one of the customer's houses, said she didn't Whoa. tip him enough, but instantly begs for forgiveness once she catches him. I'm a door. Bye. You don't, you do not touch nobody's door. Bye. So one day I ordered Uber Eats and the delivery guy took about two hours to come. I ended up dozing off. I woke up to him pushing on my door, trying to break it. I thought I was tripping, so I grabbed my gun and went to the door. I unlocked the door and he pushed it open. You just tried to open my door. You an Uber driver delivering food. No, you tried to open my mother door. If I should've got to shoot through the door on your mother. Thankfully, the lady didn't actually hit the man, but you should definitely think twice before messing around at someone's house, yeah. especially into. I would have said this to Uber Eats, nigga. I want a limited Uber Eats. Hell, you tell me I want a limited. Fuck the refund. I want a limited, nigga. You feel me? I would have, man, what? All right. I would have sued Uber Eats. In this next clip, fucking. this one old head ran up to this team, trying to force him to get off the basketball court. One, two. Right now, right now. Back up. Back up. Back up. Hey, what's up, one, two? You just because if the team pushed him away a few times and told him to chill out, but the older man just couldn't take a hit after getting warned several times. Oh, but that's when the team threw broke on his, his glasses to get him to stop. Oh, oh, right. Tough act. Hey! Oh yeah. What the? Do it again. Oh yeah. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. Walk up to my one more time and hit my ball. I'm gonna whack you out. Yo, right there. See, I if you thought that was crazy, click this to see when thieves pick the wrong house to rob. Oh, Try I've seen that first clip. But um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with me. Appreciate y'all for watching, doing everything. You know what I'm saying? I really appreciate y'all.